What's up guys, Chicks there from Chicks Tech Reviews. Today I've got my hands on the Access 4 by Azul. So this is a next gen portable fanless mini PC with some amazing features including gigabit LAN, USB-C, USB 3, Windows 10 Pro and lots lots more. So first of all, inside the box you will find a user manual, an HDMI extension cable, power supply, and I'll tell you the voltage. Voltage, five volts, three amps. And last, but certainly not least, the mini PC stick itself. So here it is guys, in my hands. Let's talk about the specs. It's powered by an Intel Celeron quad-core CPU, and I believe it's a Gemini Lake. You've got Intel Ultra HD 600 graphics. You also have four gigs of LPDDR4 RAM and 64 gigs of eMMC internal storage. You're also getting a micro SD expansion slot supporting up to 512 gigs. Furthermore, there is built-in dual-band Wi-Fi AC with a gigabit LAN, Bluetooth 4.2, supports USB 3, USB-C, a fully licensed version of Windows 10 Pro pre-installed. You've got HDMI version 2.0 and this supports 4K at 60 frames per second and also supports dual displays via HDMI and USB Type-C. Now you've got a metal body inside covered in a rubberized plastic and you can feel that slight weight to it. You've got a ridged design going all the way down. On the front you have an HDMI 2.0 port. On this side you have a USB Type-C port. On the back you've got a headphone jack, gigabit LAN and a Kensington lock. And on this side you've got a Wi-Fi antenna which you can swivel upwards Micro SD card slot which supports up to 512 gigs. You've got one USB 3 port, power socket and also a physical power button. So without any further ado, I can't wait to get this all hooked up to my TV and capture card and find out exactly what it's capable of. I'll be right back. So first of all, I ran a boot up speed test and this mini PC took 37 seconds to fully boot up from a cold start. Now here is your Windows 10 Pro desktop. So first of all, let's check out the system properties. So as you can see, we have the Intel Celeron J4125 quad-core CPU clocked at two gigahertz. And you can see the usable RAM, it's 3.82 gigs. You have a 64-bit version of Windows 10 Pro activated and ready to use. Now moving on to the system storage info, we have 64 gigs of internal storage from which 56.7 gigs are usable. And from that we have 35.6 gigs free to use. And the D drive you're seeing is actually my external flash drive, which I've connected. So this is the full version of Windows 10 Pro. It comes with all the usual Windows apps you would expect to find, including the Windows App Store, so you can download all your favorite apps and games. This is basically a full PC experience in a mini compact size. The system is powerful enough to run all your regular Windows applications, and you can also play quite a few games from the Windows Store, including Asphalt and Modern Combat 5. So this mini PC supports 4K, so let's go ahead and play some 4K video samples from a USB drive and see how it performs. Now moving on to YouTube streaming, and this does support a maximum of 4K. Escaped. Anyone who can get to the top is free. Who is next? What does he want? Revenge. Me. When her secret finds its way out. So next up, we're going to be checking out Netflix and a few minutes streaming the test patterns told me that Netflix supports a maximum of 1080p. Now, maybe with a better Wi-Fi connection, you may be able to achieve Netflix 4K, but I was only able to achieve 1080p with my 50 meg broadband connection. And streaming on Amazon Prime Video was also exactly the same. Maximum resolution achieved was 1080p. Full throttle. 
So now we're going to be testing the multitasking capabilities of this mini PC. I will open up lots of applications and games all at the same time, and we will see how the system copes. So as you can see, we have multiple games open. You can hear it all playing in the background at the same time. And the system is handling it very well. I don't feel any lag or slowdown. I have a YouTube video open and that's playing nice and smooth. So we have quite a decent performance from this mini PC stick. Um, very good multitasking capabilities. So moving on now to the gaming test, and we're going to start off with some basic candy crushing. Tasty. Now let's talk about benchmark performance. In Cinebench we achieved 565 points and as anti to benchmark is no longer available on Windows so instead we are looking at the CPU passmark performance score and this new mini PC stick has a passmark score of 3317. So that brings us to the top performing mini PC chart of 2020 and as you can see the Access 4 has taken position 3 on this chart based on the CPU passmark score. So there you have it guys, that was the new Access 4 mini PC stick by Azul. Now here are my thoughts on this device, build quality and performance is decent. I like that you have a gigabit LAN on a mini PC stick. Performance wise, I can do my everyday tasks like web browsing, emails, shopping, streaming movies on Netflix Prime and other sources, and of course, lots of YouTube streaming at 4K. Now this PC stick does get quite hot to the touch after many hours of usage, fortunately not to the point where it affects performance, but I thought it's worth mentioning nevertheless, considering it's a fanless mini PC stick. I also wish it had two USB ports for convenience, but fortunately it does support USB-C hubs. So Windows 10 Pro mini PC stick, tiny form factor, take it with you anywhere you like. This PC stick is great for streaming movies, playing basic games, or even using it for your school, uni, or college work. Bottom line, an extremely versatile space-saving PC stick offering 4K capabilities, dual display output, light gaming, and a great portable form factor. Now do let me know in the comments what you guys think of this one. Meanwhile, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.